universities need to take into account a whole range of different students that are going to be studying um, at their institution and as the numbers of widening participation students have increased across many institutions we need to think more carefully about how we engage different groups of students BME students, those living in the local area and commuting in, student parents, mature students etc. So we need to think about how we're going to engage those students and what we want to do to keep them on campus for more than just the lectures that they're turning up for and that's really where different staff come into play. We can think about how the academic staff can support that process in terms of additional tutorials or the role of the personal tutor for example but we also need to think about support staff as well. Are they going to be happy about contacting their subject librarian for example for some of the coursework that they need to do and how does the student union or some of the catering facilities for example fit into the needs of these different groups of students and it needs to be thought about in a holistic way so what I'd recommend um, that people start to focus on are things like belonging how do you know your students feel that they belong to the campus what are you doing to help engage them in all sorts of different activities that are taking place and I don't just mean academic activities here I'm talking about sports societies and the clubs that the students may be wanting to get involved in whether they're using the library whether they're even doing things like staying on campus for a coffee in between lectures or at the beginning or at the end of the day um, because the student experience relates to the whole um, aspect of what the students are engaging in university for in the first place. It's really important to understand the expectations that your students have before they come to university and what they're expecting to happen once they arrive as well. And that's why things like induction are so important. You need to start engaging with students before they even set foot on campus, giving them things like reading lists, helping them understand where to go and who's going to be there and how they can engage with different people. And that needs to continue really throughout the whole of their first year at a minimum. But we also need to think about re-induction um, and re-managing expectations for students when they come back into subsequent years or become postgraduate students. The most important thing to think about with the student experience is student engagement. How do we engage our students effectively in the institution and the studies? In terms of thinking about how we engage students, it can be really helpful to break that down into three different sections and we need to think about how we engage students in their academic studies, how we engage them in the social aspects of the university and also increasingly for many students on professional courses how we can engage them professionally and really the holy grail of student engagement is about getting overlap between those three different areas so that the students are motivated and excited and engaged in the academic course they've made friends and they're engaged in the wider community and the university itself and if they're doing a professional course they're also passionate about the profession that they've chosen to do and we can achieve that in a number of different ways but we always have to make sure that we keep the student at the heart of the process. The individual that's engaging in that learning is the most important thing and we need to make sure that the academic programme therefore fits their needs in the most appropriate way, that there are plenty of social activities for them to get involved in that fit with their unique lifestyle and that they can take all those things forward when they leave the university and get a job at the end of it. There's a number of different things that we can do. We can focus on things like peer assisted learning or mentoring where you have students from different years supporting students in the first year and really helping with that induction process. That can be really beneficial for academic staff because they may not have enough time if you've got a large um, first year cohort for example to get to know every single student individually. It would be unrealistic to think that you could know the names of 500 people but by recruiting a team of um, students in subsequent years they can actually break down the student cohort into smaller groups and get to know them and also provide provide peer-to-peer support and programmes that offer this type of support have found that students are much more willing to be very open and ask um, all the silly questions that they might be a bit embarrassed or a bit scared to ask a staff member. They're much more willing to ask a student those types of questions. Another example of really good practice is having online materials available for students before they even arrive at university. So at Bradford we've had um, a social network in Ning for the last four years which has been very successful and lots of other institutions now have got similar networks in Ning or on Facebook or using different types of um, online systems and these really offer students an opportunity to make friends with each other before they arrive so they feel that they already know people and campus is therefore a little bit less intimidating on that first day that they arrive. Another example of really good um, activity is to engage the student union as proactively as possible in helping to support certainly the social aspects of engagement. So thinking about the types of activities that are available to students and making sure they're diverse and they fit in with different types of student groups. 
that there are non-alcoholic events, that there are events available during the day for students that might not be around in the evening, and that there are also activities available at weekends and during vacation periods for international students that won't be disappearing off of campus and are actually there for 42 or 44 weeks of the year. Thinking about the student experience and student engagement in particular, what one aspect that you are responsible for could you change to enhance the student experience?